Guys, let's check out this crazy tanky Master Yi going up against a full tank build Cho'Gath. You're trespassing on my property! You didn't win sh in my yard! Wait, wait, wait. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? But before we dive into the full build, let's take a moment to see how to land four quick auto attacks without any attack speed items. Because the main secret is here. Start with Q. Positioning yourself behind the enemy to land three auto attacks without any delay while following the enemy when they run. Follow this with an auto attack, then use your W to reset the auto attack delay, and finally activate Hydra to reset the auto attack once more. The early use of Titanic Hydra will provide you with tankiness, and combined with our trick and attack speed boots, you'll deal significant damage. Next, we'll add Terminus to our build, and here's why. Its passive ability can be stacked in just one second with our trick, providing you with 21 armor and magic resist at level 11, for example, plus 30% armor penetration. This combination results in very high damage, high defense, and high HP. If executed correctly, this strategy could help you reach platinum rank easy. This, this, this is not okay. This is an exclusive strategy that hasn't been discussed anywhere else on the internet. So if you find it helpful, please support us by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. You can't imagine how much your support means to us. Continuing with the build, you'll add Rage Blade, which also works with our trick, allowing you to stack its passive in seconds for insane attack speed. Plus you will stack lethal tempo faster, and you will get a total of 60 magic damage on every auto attack, 30 from Tremnius, and 30 from Rageblade. Next up is Experimental Hexplate, the best item for Master Yi in my opinion. Look at how many things you will get. It provides damage, attack speed, additional tanky HP, and 30 ability haste for your ultimate. Plus, it has an incredible passive that ensures no one can escape from you. However, if you're facing multiple tanks or a fed tank, consider purchasing Blade of the Ruined King first. Otherwise, go for Hexplate and then Blade of the Ruined King. If you know of any broken builds, let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.